Good day, mate. Welcome back to the channel. I'm FPL Roo, and welcome back to another Euro 2024 video. So in this video, nothing to do with fantasy. So we're just going to be going through my tournament predictions. So you could argue that it is to do with fantasy because obviously I'll be predicting what teams stay in the tournament longer, what teams actually do well in the group stage, which obviously has an impact on who you pick for fantasy. But it's going to be a video and basically where I decide who will be crowned the Euro 2024 champion. First of all, we will go with the group stage. So Group A, Germany, Scotland, Hungary and Switzerland. Uh, for me, Germany are going to win this group. I do think they've got the best squad in this group. And I do think the home, the fact they're at home, does play a massive, massive factor. Um, their attack is kind of frightening. Verts, Musiala, Havertz. Um, yeah, very, very good. Gundogan as well in the midfield. So, yeah, Germany are going to win this group for me. Scotland did very, very well in qualifying, but I actually don't think they're going to make it. I think they're going to finish bottom of the group. Yes, that's that's pretty rough considering how good they were in qualifying. I just think the other two teams have been there and done it a little bit more than Scotland. And Scotland might, I guess, I don't want to be too harsh, but might maybe um, the event might be a bit too big for them. Um, second, I'm going to go for Switzerland, even though I do really, really like Hungary. And I think Hungary had a very very good qualifying obviously they didn't lose to England in the qualifying but I think Switzerland again they have them players that have been there and done it and done well at these tournaments like Shakiri, like Xhaka um, and for me that that just means I'm going to go for go for Switzerland to finish second doesn't mean Hungary are out though because obviously in this tournament the best placed third places so the team in third place with the most points there's about four or five of them I think it is does actually make it through to the next stage so we'll see um, a bit later on when we scroll down whether Hungary actually do make it to the tournament. Um, next up uh, group B with Spain, Croatia, Italy and Albania so I'm just going to go off the bat and go I bet Albania fourth I think um, maybe if they're in another group they could have had a chance but for me in this group they've got absolutely no chance of going through. Um, third I'm going to put Croatia I know they've done very very well in tournaments but I think their squad's getting a little bit older. Modric, Perisic, Kovacic, um, getting a bit older now. Obviously, they've got Gavardio coming through, a young buck, um, doing very, very well for City and very, very attacking and getting points and stuff like that. But for me, yeah, I just can't see Croatia coming out of this group. And to be honest, yeah, we'll talk about it later on, but to be honest, I can't really see them qualifying either because I think there will be a lot of teams that do take points off each other in this group. First, it is a tough one considering Italy didn't actually qualify for the World Cup, but they are the holders. Um, but for me, I'm going to go Italy second and Spain first. I just think with Rodri in the midfield, with um, Gavi as well, I'm pretty sure Gavi's fit. Um, with their defence looking half decent, I think Spain are just going to edge Italy. But I do really, really like the Italy team. Um, obviously, they've got players that can do damage like Chiesa. Um, they also got good wing backs like DeMarco, Di Lorenzo. Um, but for me, Spain just edges it because I do think they're starting to get a few decent young players in this squad. And yeah, I think they're going to do half decent in this tournament. Group C, um, we've, got, um, we've got Slovenia, Denmark, Serbia and England. So, yeah, England first for me. Uh, maybe a little bit of bias. Probably not, though, because I think they're the strongest in this group. And then second place, it is tough. Slovenia and Serbia and Denmark are all half decent on their day. But I think I'm just going to go for Denmark. I think the emergence of Hoyland, um, I think he is a very, very good player. And I think international football, maybe he's going to have a bit more creativity behind him than he did at Man United. Um, I'm not saying Denmark are a better team than Man United, but I think... Maybe they'll try and, I guess, he'll probably be one of their best players alongside, obviously, Ericsson, even like Hoiberg and, and people like that, um, Damsgaard and um, people like that. So, yeah, for me, Denmark are going to finish second. And they're going to go for Serbia. I think Mitrovic has done very, very well this season in Saudi. Um, they're, they're just solid, to be honest. And, yeah, Slovenia finishing fourth. Next up, we've got Group D, so the Netherlands. Then we've got France, Poland and Austria. For me, France are going to finish first. I think, yeah, they're just too good at the minute. But to be totally honest with you, 
I really do like the Netherlands and I think their squad is so underrated. They've got people like um, Javi Simmons, Gakpo, their defence is De Ligt, Van Dijk, um, Ake, Van der Ven, can't even get a game. Um, their wing backs like Fringpong and Dumfries, very, very good. Luke de, uh, de Jong as well in um, midfield. But for me, France are just, yeah, too, too strong. But Netherlands are going to finish second. Austria and Poland is a tough one. Poland didn't do that great at the last tournament, but I'm going to put them third and then put Austria fourth. I'm just not sure Austria, with David Alaba missing, have enough to go through. Um, and I don't think Poland might not be able to, too, with how tough the group is, but we'll put them in third for now. Group E. It's a Ukraine, you've got Slovakia, Belgium and Romania. Um, again, I think Belgium are going to be too tough for them. Yes, their golden generation is getting on a bit now with the likes of uh, De Bruyne. Um, we've also got Lukaku there, who's been on fire in, in qualifying. Um, you've got Trossard as well now. So still some decent players there and Doku as well. But um, yeah, for me, they're going to they're gonna do well in this group. Second place is a tough one. I'm going to go for Ukraine, though. I think they've got the best players, and I think they look the most, I guess, solid as a team. They've got Lunin, the goalkeeper has played loads for Real Madrid this season, Zinchenko, um, people like Yarmolenko, um, Modric as well, who does very well in a Ukraine shirt. So for me, I'm going to go Ukraine. Yeah. Then I'm going to go for, I think, Slovakia, then Romania. Group F. Again, this is a tough group on paper. Um, some European giants in there, like um, you've got Turkey, uh, Portugal, G uh, Georgia, and then the Czechia as well. And this is going to be a tough group, but I think Georgia are going to finish last. Um, I think, the, like I said um, in one of my previous videos, they are one of the, the weakest teams in the tournament. Um, hopefully they do do well, but yeah, for me, I just don't really know any of their players. They've got um, Jara Sheklia, um, the winger from Napoli, who is a very good player, but I don't think he can do it on his, by himself. So I'm going to go for Georgia next. Then I'm going to go for Czechia. Um, I think, yeah, I don't, I don't think they've got many decent players, to be honest with you. They've got people like Thomas Suchek and um, Kufal for West Ham. Then they've got um, Patrick Schick as well. But for me, yeah, it's, it's, it's not worth, I don't think Czechia is going to be going to be getting anywhere near the top of this group and then I'm going to go Portugal top and Turkey next Turkey always a tough team they've got some decent young players coming through now I know um, they've got a winger that's pretty decent the striker's pretty decent and then also they've got Chalanoglu who's a set piece specialist and yeah doing very well for into this season Portugal one of the I think most underrated teams in this tournament their forward line and midfield is ridiculous um, obviously, you've got Ronaldo up front. Who knows if he can still do it at this level. But behind that, you've got Bruno Fernandes, Bernardo Silva, Diego Jota, if fit. Um, you've got Cancelo, Dallo um, in defence. You've got Diaz. Oh, it's just it's just full of... I think I've missed a few as well. And it's, their talent in that team is ridiculous. It's just, can they work together? Can they make up, I guess for Ronaldo's age and kind of pull it on a plate for him because we know even even now he's not in kind of the big European leagues we know he's still going to be a deadly finisher and um, yeah Portugal to win that group in group F so next up um, we've got to predict which third place teams will finish with the most points so basically um, the top four of these will go through to the next round where the bottom two will be eliminated so the top four, I think, will be, I think, um, Czechia, because I think they'll beat Georgia. I think, um, I think Serbia, I think Hungary, and I think I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for Croatia, because I think Croatia will cause some, uh, yeah, get a few draws and maybe in that group. So now we've got the knockout stage. So Spain versus Hungary. Uh, like I said, Hungary were decent in the qualifying. They didn't lose in 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 England's into to England over two games. 
but Spain are just going to have the edge for me. Um, Germany, Denmark, a very, very good game. Um, I always fancy Denmark to do better than, <laughs> than they actually do. But yeah, I think Germany at home just takes that for me. Portugal versus Serbia. Um, Serbia, again, a solid team. Mitrovic, but like I said with Portugal, they're, 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 honestly, their squad is just a joke. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go for Portugal. Um, Netherlands versus Ukraine. It's going to be a tough game for Netherlands. I think Ukraine are solid, decent players, but I think you just got to fancy Netherlands. I really do like them this this um, this tournament, especially with that defence. The centre backs look very very solid, and Kang Gakpo um, and Xavi Simmons do the business up top potentially. So we're going to go for Netherlands in this one. Belgium Croatia is a tough one, um, but. I think I'm just going to fancy Belgium. I think the fact that they got players like Trossard, De Bruyne, Lukaku, um, I think it's just going to get them over the edge. But it's going to be a close game. And I think Croatia have done well against Belgium in the past. past but yeah, Belgium just nick it for me. France v Turkey, interesting game. But yeah, for me, France is, is one of the favourites in this tournament. And I can't see Turkey causing an upset, to be totally honest with you. England v Czechia. Um, I think England are going to be too much for Czechia. Um, I think England probably have a chance to maybe even rest a few players in the group stage in the third game. Um, so I'm going to go for, for England. And then Switzerland, Italy. I do really, really like Switzerland. But I think Italy are just too strong for them. So I'm going to go for Italy to beat Switzerland. Um, so now we've got the quarterfinals and some big quarterfinals as well. We've got Spain, Germany, we've got Portugal, Netherlands, Belgium, France, England, Italy. So some tough, tough games in here, um, but I guess it's the quarterfinals, so you're gonna know that it's gonna, it's gonna happen. Spain, Germany is a tough one. I, people don't fancy the German team, I think, but I think the fact that they're at home and they've got Nagelsmann, I think he's gonna play very good football, um, but Spain, their team looks very solid with Rodri, um, G uh, Gavi, but I'm just going to go Germany just for the home advantage and because of their kind of number 10s like Verts and Musiala, etc. Portugal, Netherlands is a tough one, to be honest with you, because I do really, really like the Netherlands this tournament. But I think overall as a squad and I think attacking wise I think someone that is clinical I don't think Netherlands have that I know they've got Gakpo um, I'm trying to think who they've got up front but let me know in the comments if, if you know that but they've got Gakpo, Javi Simmons uh, like I said the defence is, is looking good as well but I'm just going to go for Portugal because I think they've got difference makers they've got Bernardo Silva, Bruno Fernandes, Cristiano Ronaldo, Diego Jota if he's fit um, they've got big, big players, difference makers, Pedro Neto as well, if he's fit. So I'm going to go for Portugal in this one. Belgium, France. Uh, I just can't see anything but a France win, to be totally honest with you. Um, I think France are going to yeah do the business over Belgium. And Belgium are going to fall short once again in a big tournament. England, Italy. So the replay of the last final. And I think it's time for England to take revenge. I think England should have won that final. Um, when they went 1-0 up, they kind of decided to sit back when they should have just gone for it. Italy were there for the taking. They were at home as well. It was at Wembley, the game. So, yeah, I think Italy are going are gonna, to yeah, get revenge and, and kind of take, take, um, yeah, take revenge on Italy and, and win that game and make it through to the semi-finals. So we've got Germany, Portugal. And England and France versus England for the semi finals. Germany, Portugal, this is a tough one as well, to be honest. And again, Germany being at home, I just really like Portugal this tournament. I just sum it about them. I think the defence is looking solid, decent keeper as well, Diego Costa. Um, midfield is solid, Bruno Fernandes. Um, also got yeah, Diego Jota. Bernardo Silva, like I said. So I'm going to go for Portugal. I think Portugal are just a better team than Germany. Um, so I'm going to go for Portugal. So Portugal through to the final. And then France versus England. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. And it was, who knows, if Harry Kane scored that penalty in the World Cup, who knows what would have happened in that game. 
um, where France did, did end up beating England. And England were the better team, to be honest with you. And for that reason, I think they're going to take revenge as well. And I think England are going to win against France. So now for the final, it is Portugal versus England. Um, a game that has caused a lot of upset for England and England fans over the years. Um, Euro 20, 2004, um, I think it was... Was it the one before that? Was it Euro 2008 as well? Or I don't, I don't know, or maybe the World Cup. But Portugal have yeah, caused a lot of upset to England in the past. I remember as a kid crying because Portugal knocked out England on penalties. So um, well, do I think that's going to happen again? I don't think so. I think football is finally coming home. I think England are going to win the Euros. They're going to be champions 2024. Um, finally, they're going to win something after... How many years is it now? 1966, what? 40, 50, 50, what? 58 years it is. Um, I think they're going to win the tournament. I think it's coming home. Um, England are the winners of Euro 2024. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Do you think France will beat England in that semi-final? Let me know your winners um, in the comment section below. And yeah, like this video as well. And yeah, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll catch you in the next one.